And tonight, Del Valley ISD and at least 10 other school districts are planning to sue the Texas Education Agency. They want to stop the release of this year's accountability ratings. They are claiming the TEA changed the rules halfway through last year, and they say that will make it look like more schools are underperforming. KVU's Ford Sanders spoke with district leaders who worry that they're being pulled into a political agenda. The Texas Education Agency's College Career and Military Readiness, or CCMR standard, is a benchmark for school districts to get students ready for higher education. Previously, districts earned recognition for getting 60% of students ready for careers and college, but the TEA refreshed its standards in the spring to bump that benchmark to 88%. They've raised the cut scores, so essentially districts and campuses can perform better, but get a lower letter grade. A coalition of school districts plan to sue over the change. Dr. Annette Telly is the superintendent for Del Valley ISD, which joined the lawsuit Tuesday. All those in favor? Yay. Okay, you good? Attorney Nick Maddox and Dr. Telly say the TEA made changes after the school year started. That's very much like uh, playing a game of football, and then after the players are all done and gone home, then you decide not only what the, the rules of the game are, but then you decide who won that game after the fact. Dr. Telly says to be told now that they didn't hit a benchmark they thought they did last year is disheartening because they can't change it now. My students this year, our seniors are at 85 percent, so we would be very close to that. However, when you're looking back to students who graduated in 2022, that is not possible now to have um, to work with those students to meet that. Maddox and Dr. Telly say districts aren't against higher benchmarks. They're against the TEA's timing. If you are going to change the accountability system, if you're going to change how you're going to judge and rate Texas public schools, uh, then do it on the front end. Districts and campuses across the state are expected to drop one to two letter grades. And because of that, during a time when the legislature is really pushing vouchers, that really coincides with more D's and F's happening across the state. And Dr. Telly worries that the changes will make a dent in the district's overall rating. Now, if a rating is bad enough, the state can take over a school district. Now, we reached out to the TEA for a statement about this lawsuit, but have yet to hear back tonight. In the studio tonight, I'm Ford Sanders.